Welcome everybody to another episode of Let's Play City Skylines Green Power Scenario that we already beat and now we are just improving the city and having fun with a new uh, airport DLC as well and one of the things I want to do it's basically continue what I started on uh, last episode maybe a couple of episodes ago which is to increase the attractiveness of the city this is one of the metrics I accidentally discovered while I was um, uh, playing with the airport DLC and this is, was not introduced, as far as I know, by the airport DLC, it's just, I just noticed it. So I noticed that my city doesn't have a very high level of attractiveness. So what I want to do is continue to develop this whole area over here. All of this, as far as the eye can see, or as far as this uh, invisible border can let us. Uh, because... what? Oh, I thought this was a train, never mind. Because, um, yeah, I'm playing this unmodded, and I think that, that the border right there, oh, look at that plane, the border of the city is right there. So, yeah, I want to try to fill this up with all the leisure and touristic attractions, as many as I can, in a way that still makes sense. And one thing that it does not make sense to me, at least not today, because it varies, some things... Uh, some days things make sense and then the next day it doesn't. And one of these is that I want to create a, a zoo around here and then there is this uh, off ramp or on ramp I should say. On? On and off. Yeah, on and off because it's two way road. Um, here right in the middle of the zoo and on the last episode I thought oh this is cool. Rose going above the zoo but now I don't like it and I think I want to move this from here to here. So I'm going to do just that. And it is done. Actually, it looks better because it's kind of symmetric. Oh, it's not really. This is a bit more close than this one. Uh, which one do I like the most? The best way to understand symmetry issues and see which one you like is to put this in camera mode and then just spin it around. Okay, it really isn't. It really isn't. Uh, I just can't make my mind. I think I like... The one on the left better because it's a bit more compact than this one. Yeah, let's change it. Ta-da! It's really not exactly symmetrical. But if you look from this angle, it is. So we are already at two stars. It's great. Any policies I want to enable? What does animal ethics do? Animals receive extra care and activities to keep them happy and entertained. Of course I want that. Advertisement campaign? No, I don't want anyone to know about this. It's secret zoo. Main park. Mark the park as a main attraction. No, definitely not. Find for fireworks. Yeah, animals don't like fireworks. Why would you do fireworks? The animals, that's just not good. Uh, no, it's completely opposite. The celebrate is... The opposite of the fireworks, basically put more night tours. No, let the animals sleep. Even more fun? Who doesn't like even more fun? The amusement park buildings are maintained super well, causing them to be even more fun. Of course, why wouldn't I want this? Let's just ignore these red numbers here. I'm sure they are irrelevant. And recycle garbage? No, recycling, recycling is a myth. Okay, kids, you heard it from me. Uh... Okay, I don't need this anymore. And we had a flying car over here. It was really cool. <laughs> okay, I think it's better. I declutter this area over here. Yeah, I do like this. It's not 100% symmetrical, I just notice. This is longer than this. Ah, we cannot have that. Well, we still have it. <laughs> we still have it because... Uh, I would have to potentially move this road. Oh no, no I'm. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. You can't really tell these things once you build uh, either zonable buildings or ploppables. Yeah. I don't know why I was being so pedantic. I'm sorry, guys. I probably not the most entertaining thing to see uh, a guy obsessing about these things, but <laughs> sometimes you just have to be you, you know? You have to be you. Okay, yeah, okay, uh, let's let's focus on what I really wanted to focus, which is the zoo. Uh, I think I already put some public transports going on here, yeah. Do you already have people? Oh, quite a bit of people. I guess they're all going to the zoo. Look, look at these little ants. Yeah, nice. 
really nice to see the, the zoo being utilized, even though it's not really completed yet. So let's do, oops, let's do that. Let's see what else we have here. Antelope, yeah, I think, I think it's this one. Yeah, I think it's this one. This is the bison enclosure. Wait a second, I think I, I have moose and reindeer. No, moose and reindeer is this one. Okay, let me click the buildings. It's easier, yep. This is the antelope, okay, this is the antelope. And this is the bird, bird house, okay. That makes better sense now. And the next is the bison, the bison, bison. <laughs> this is a French word. But yeah, if I'm mispronouncing things, please forgive me. Uh, also, feel free to correct me. I, I, I don't mind at all, and I actually welcome it. Why can't I snap to the road? Uh, okay, it's make difficult to put things in here. Okay. If you don't like snapping, I'll try to plop you around here next to the entrance. Oh, I, you see those circles, those grey circles? I think those are the connection points to the main pathways. So I would probably want to align one of these with the road. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, I'm going to try that. Oops. No, these are not connection points. These were elevation points. Aha, aha, aha. Uh, okay, this is a connection point, right? Let me test my theory. Is this zoo? Yep. Yeah, it does. Oh, if I spin it around. Okay, I think I think I know what I can do. Yeah, I can just spin that around. Let's find it again. Okay, so if I spin it, how do I spin it? Uh -huh, uh, like this, like so. Uh, I'll try to... This looks like the main entrance, that building in grey. Dark grey, dark grey, dark green. Okay, let's see if there's a connection point there. Come on, let me connect because I love to see things align. Yes, ah! Uh, what? Oh, is it too close, is it? What about this one? Oh, no, it's not too... It's just not a connection point. It has to be on the corners. Okay, one more try. There. I think it's good. It's not completely straight, but it's fine. Look at the animals. Nice. Really cool. Okay, there's a lot of trees here. Wow, I guess that's why I put the forestry area over here. There's really a lot of trees here, okay. Let's see another building. Wow, the look at the money. <laughs> what am I doing wrong here? <laughs> yeah, let's see what's consuming more of my budget. It's public transport. Especially trains, yeah. <laughs> Trains and airplanes, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Do I need to raise the price or something? At least I hope it's really... Ut okay, it's also the one that's utilized the most. Uh, is there any kind of ticket? Price control thing? No. Does that look like it? Okay. Well, uh, I definitely want to grow the population at least to 80k. Maybe that will help. Yeah, because this is really bad. <laughs> it's really bad. Okay, let's focus on what we were supposed to do. I'm sure once we have the botanical garden... Oh, we're doing profit. I was going to say um, at max stars or level. It will be fine. And that reminds me of another thing. Yep, I'm not really focusing on what I should be doing. Oil. Oh, sweet. Blue nectar. Blue. Black nectar. Hmm. 
Oh, I'm quite tempted. Oh, why, why unhappy faces? Uh, we lost the game, didn't we? We we lost the game. Yeah. What? Where are we? Seventy-five. Yeah, we lost. The most recent game is on the top. Yeah, we lost it. It's fine. We win more than we lose. I think that's fine. Yeah. I just wish this all these people parked here. I created parking lots for you guys. Took me, I don't know if hours, but a long time to do this without mods. And you're not using it. God damn it. Okay, let's go back. Okay, let's do... Let's do more. What is this? Amphibian, reptile and insect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I want to align it with this. Yep. I think this looks cool. Yeah, this is a nice building. Really nice building. Really, really nice building. Okay, can we do anything else? Decorations, now that's going to be for last. Okay. How is the attractiveness level? 900. Um, I guess that's really good. Uh, we are losing money here. Uh, it's fine. Uh, I just need to wait for... Oh yeah, entertainment level is already quite high. So I just need to wait for visitors. Okay, that's, that's cool. So that uh, gives me an opportunity to start developing this area. So what do I want to put here? What do I want to put here? Let's see. I wanted to put potentially... I don't remember. I, I think in the last episode I did mention something that I want to do here. But as you know, every day there's a different perspective on things, on lives, on games. And uh, well, I'm just making up excuses because I don't remember what I had originally planned for this area. But let's start fresh. What can increase the attractiveness of my city? So all these buildings... Oh. I was going to say, all these buildings are for the coastline, but not this one, and not this one. Riding stable next to the zoo. Oh, I think this is perfect. How big is this? It's not too big. I think this makes sense to have a riding stable next to the zoo. Although for some reason it, I cannot put it right next to the avenue. That's fine. Let's take a look. Yeah, I think this is, yeah, I think this is a good match. Yeah, let's search for... Uh, facilities or buildings uh, with similar theme like nature, animals let's take a look oh biodome I don't know how much this increases the attractiveness I'm just going to plop one and I'm going to see if this increases the attractiveness Uh, doesn't look like it, but it does attract tourists, right? Because it has a touristic, uh, yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to do something cool with this. I just noticed this part was really, really inclined, so it's not leveled at all. So I just leveled it, and uh, <laughs> this is the end result. <laughs> ah, okay, this is this should be overground metro, but now it looks more underground. Um, do I mind this? Because it's not too bad. I'm afraid to say that word. And you know, when things are a bit weird, the trick is to put some trees around. I don't know how I can disguise this with trees. To be completely honest, maybe rocks. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. It looks like. Uh, uh, let's look like a Salvador Dali painting. Yeah. <laughs> then it's good. It's an artistic. Yeah. Okay. I'm feeling artistic today, guys. So. Um, oh, wow. Wow. How weird. <laughs> how weird is this going to look here? <laughs> Okay, let's try to... Uh, Dali would be proud of me. Thing. I just don't want to leave this completely like empty. 
I want to pretend that this is like some kind of weird cliff or something. And while it's definitely weird, I think that I can achieve. <laughs> yeah. Let's let's leave it. Um yeah, future me might come here and, and look back and think what what was I thinking? But I think for now, it's a feature of this city. It's an original creation. No mods, guys. I created all of this piece of art with no mods. Amazing, isn't it? I know it is. I don't need to comment on this, okay? I just, I just know, and you guys fully agree with me. So I flattened this so I could put those biodomes. I'm just not sure how great they will be. Okay, I like it. Simple, but a bit um, weird. Maybe weird is not the right word. Different, original. Yeah, that's that's the word I was looking for. Original. Yeah, it's actually not too bad. And the further away I look, the better it looks, doesn't it? I oh, mean, I really hope people like this. Uh, I just want to stretch. I want to stretch this line, the metro line, to make sure people start visiting. Drag, no, I want to drag the line. That is it. Yay, we got to level 3. Awesome. I'll get to it in a sec. Where is it? Drag, stop to move it. Yep. We got to move it, move it. <laughs> yes, let's move it, move it. Uh, add stop here. It stop there. Did I add a stop there? I think I did. I hope I did. I can't really tell. I don't think. I don't think I did. Oh, now I did. Now I did. Yeah, now it worked. Okay. So now we have people that can visit this area and use the pathways, because that's why I put them here. Yeah, so hopefully people will start to come here. Yeah, so I think I need... So there's a lot of attraction around here. Uh, yeah, let's continue the zoo, actually. Or I, I would like to put some zoning of some sort around here. Because I want to see if I can start populating pleasure or tourism. Hotel and restaurants. Uh, I think, yeah, I think I will do that here, actually. Because I want to... Yeah, I want to start to, to have this area busy, if I can make it busy. Uh, how do I do this? Okay, I think I do it from here. See if this snaps in a more or less... Actually, I want to go as close as the motorway as possible. Then I want to connect this to the main road in kind of curvy way, like so. Okay. Then I want to have something similar on this side, because I do like to have like tall buildings or buildings near these train tracks or rail tracks, railroads or whatever, like this. And then. We just stretch this a little bit. Oh, 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 no, I think I have an idea. Why don't I put just a big park here in the middle? Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, I think if I put a big park here in the middle, and I just connect these pathways, 
which hopefully will make these pathways actually used. Come on. Yeah, and then I can zone those touristic buildings around here. And maybe some small hotels. Yeah, I think small hotels is good here. Because I don't want... Well, I do have some tall buildings here. Mm, I was going to say I would like to have smaller buildings that are not so tall. Uh, I leave the default and then I see, because I think there's a policy of uh, called high-rise ban, I think, something similar, that prevents buildings to become too tall. That we'll see. Okay. Where do I put the touristic area? Here, here it is. Okay, so this is going to be touristic. Now if I zone high density, I don't want it to go all the way to the main road, just here. And if I zone these bits here, we'll see how big these buildings will become. Yeah, wait, I just do small snippets of buildings. This is just one line, so I don't want to do it there. Here I think it's good. Uh, the way I want here as well. I think I do. Next to the park, yeah, I, th I think I do want it. Here I'm going to make it slightly bigger. And here uh, as well. Okay. I don't want to put a lot because I'm not sure I'm going to like having this area too busy. Yeah, it's already quite a big building. We're making money! That's what they needed. They needed a proper attractive area. And by that I mean the citizens of this city. Okay, are we having people? Only 10? Okay. Oh, oh, oh no, yeah, never mind. They can use the metro. I was going to say... They don't have public transport to these areas, but they, yes, they do. They have this. Oh, I know something that is useful here as well. Is the taxis. Yeah, I think here is actually a perfect spot for it. So that they can travel from here to here. Which means I should put a taxi stand here. Is it stand or stop? Stand. So if I put one here as well. Then whenever this is working, because I don't think I have a line coming up here. Yeah, no, I don't. I really don't. Or there. Yeah, I think I will need to start zoning around this avenue so that power can propagate. Or I can just, I can just stretch power lines here. Mm, okay, that's going to be for future me to worry about. Is it too weird that we have these really tall buildings? Okay, I will let it completely. Yeah, I'll, I'll let this area completely develop. Because this has levels now. I thought maybe it, it would change. Maybe it's not too bad. Because this building does create a, some sort of transition. I might prefer the smaller ones. Mm, okay, anyway, we'll see. Okay, let's wrap up this episode by completing the zoo since we unlocked level three we have no buildings let's check them out okay what is this oh, i already have those flamingo oh flamingo enclosure nice where can i plop it nowhere of course because it snaps to this grid uh, okay then you're going to the side Yes, you are going here. Okay. It doesn't look too bad. Now well, it's connected to the main pathways. There we go. Oh, I could maybe even connect... Oh, the sounds. Can you hear that? Are these flamingo sounds? Let me go away. <laughs> I thought it were seagulls or something like that. No, it's the flamingos. I didn't know the animals made noise in here. The bison does not make any sounds, apparently. And the antelopes, or the deers. No, 
and now it's the antelopes. Okay, they do make some. <laughs> I didn't know this. Cool. And the birds. I do hear some birds, but I think it's already part of the game. And the reptiles. Like snake sounds or something. No, just birds. Okay. It's a default. Okay, let's continue our mission to put things. Oh. So it's not very well aligned, is it? Uh, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay. Let's see what other buildings we have. Elephant. Oh yeah, elephant. Ooh. Oh wow. Oh, and the snaps. Perfect. 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 I really wanted the building. And here they are, the elephants. Ah, oh, baby elephants, are you happy to be in this zoo? I think it's not too bad. Okay, there's a big motorway <laughs> right next to you, but it's it's fine. Look, just look towards this direction. Look, just nature. Actually, it's a pretty cool view, actually. With the ocean, the background, that's really cool. Okay. Uh, how are we in terms of the next level? Entertainment level is fine. And visitors, we just need to wait for visitors. Okay, I think I'll leave it for now until we unblock everything and then we might redo things ah the sea life enclosure it would be nice but it requires water which uh we don't have well, i'm not far away from it but i don't think i want to terraform this to make this happen i think i prefer to leave it as is and uh, have this just reserved for a huge beach area which we will do in the uh, later episode right now i want to zone things here and then I leave the coastal area for last, I think. Yeah, because I want to grow the city, that's that's why. Um, yeah, we should try to get to 80 something K. And we are making money, which is pretty cool. Oh, most of the buildings already appeared. How is it working? Okay, it looks like we have, oh, there's not a lot of workers in a hotel, only six workers, okay. I would expect a bit more for the hotels. Let me compare with the normal... Uh, this is a residential. Uh, office, office, office. Here. Oh, only eight. Okay. Why do I think these buildings had more workers? Well, this compared to with the residential. Oh no, okay. So this one has 21 workers. This one has seven. Right. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Why, why does this have so many? 20 workers. Oh, this is a normal office. Ah, right. So this, this is the special uh, IT. Is it IT building? Yeah. Yeah, IT cluster type of offices that's right oh I, I i would expect the opposite that this would have more right there's less than a normal office building that has 20. hmm interesting okay it's not a bad thing i don't think because this just means we need to build a lot or zone a lot and make massive cities to cater for the people because each residential building has a lot of people not people households well, te technically, houses are made of people, but uh, what I'm trying to say is that this this has, yeah, here it is, 47 people, 19 households, or 16 at the moment. So that's a really big ratio. The density of residential versus the other buildings is quite high, meaning you can fit more people in the residential areas than you can in the offices, which it's at first glance looks a bit weird should be the opposite shouldn't it but yeah it's fine it is fine yeah oh, let me empty this since i'm here empty the cemetery that sounds really nasty but um, okay yeah uh what did i want oh yeah oh yeah i just noticed this uh there's not a connection here 
We need to fix that. Where is the monorail? Here it is. Hopefully it's easy. It is. Yep. Yep, it is. Okay. I live uh, soon-ish. I should connect this, but only when I have something here, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah, and I just noticed that this looks a bit weird because it's not symmetrical. So I'm going to make this symmetrical. How many squares are those? Four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Like this. Let me snap. Yeah. It disguises the lack of symmetry here. Well, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm not going to keep being pedantic with these little things. <laughs> Unless you want me to. But no, yeah, no, no way wants that. Okay. Well, I'm quite happy with this area. I'm not convinced about this uh, popular. No, this is going to be the bipolar park because I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I like this. Yeah, I don't think these tall buildings fit this area very well. Yeah. Okay. Time to wrap up this episode. I think we upgraded this as much as we could. Then soon ish is going to be level four. So hopefully the next episode we'll wrap up the zoo and we keep developing this area. Yeah. This looks nice. I really like it. Uh, weird. <laughs> but I think really nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't like this. Yeah, it just Yeah, I don't I don't I don't like this. Well I I'll let you comment below before I make a decision. Because look, this looks nice. I mean, you know, not a lot of tall buildings. It highlights this building as well. When I start mixing this, mm, no, me no likey. No, yeah, do let me know. Yeah, I much, I much rather have this view. Yeah, this looks not great. Yeah, anyway, do let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, more specifically, putting the hotels here. I don't think this is a good place for the hotels. I think it it removes the beauty or some of it, the beauty of this area. Oh, and people are already committing crimes here, okay? <laughs> I think that's also a sign. They are unhappy because of these hotels. That's why. And then they resort to crime and violence and stuff. Okay, I digress. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Do let me know if I should put the hotels here. I don't think I should. But just to double check, let me know what you think. And yeah, any other suggestions for this area, do let me know. Um, because I do want to put these touristic buildings and the leisure buildings around here. Here, I'm not so sure. I think I just want to leave it, keep it simple and remove all these tall buildings. You just put this type of probable buildings that are related with like uh, animals and nature and stuff and keep uh, this zone as flat as I can. But yeah, I'm curious to, to know what you guys think. Okay, and now finally I'm going to wrap it up. I hope you've been keeping safe and keeping well. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.